Biden's question is, do you think it's likely that we will experience a major increase in interest rates in the upcoming decades, like, for example, in the period between 1950 and 1980? Well, that, of course, is a very intelligent question and a very difficult question. When you throw money, when you print money on the scale that modern nations are printing it, Japan, the United States, Europe, etc., we're getting into new territory in terms of size. The Japanese bought back not only a lot of their own debt, but a lot of their common stocks. So the Federal Reserve System, you can't imagine how much money printing J Japan has done. And they haven't had all that much inflation, and they it's still a very admirable civilization. In fact, you, you could argue that Japan is one of the more admirable civilizations in the whole world. And in spite of all this very extreme uh, government money printing they've done, and they haven't had terrible consequences. Now they've had 25 years of stasis with living standards not improving very much. I don't think that came from their macroeconomic policies. I think that came from the rise of tough competition for their export powerhouse from China and Korea. At any rate, it's weird what's happening and nobody knows for sure how it's gonna work out. Uh, I think it's encouraging that Japan can print as much money as it has and remain as civilized and calm as, and, and admirable as it has. And so I hope to God the United States has similar happy outcome. But I think the Japanese are better adapted for stasis than we are. I think it's a duty-filled, civilized bunch of people, a lot of them older, not many young people, and, and they just suck it in and cope. In our country, we have terrible tensions. It's way harder to run a country which is not mono-ethnic like Japan. There's some professor at Harvard that has written extensively on this subject. It's way harder to run a nation like the United States with different ethnicities and groups and so forth than it is to run Japan. There are, Japan is basically sort of a mono-ethnic civilization which is proud of its ethnicity and of course they can cope with the troubles more than, better than some other people can. We do know from what's happened in other nations if you, if you try and print too much money it eventually causes terrible trouble and we are closer to terrible trouble than than we've been in the past, but it may still be a long way off. I certainly hope so. Me too. Um, Steve Cospell writes in on, on this same subject. He, he says, what are your current thoughts on the inflationary environment? And please compare and contrast it to the 1970s. When Volcker, after the 70s, took the prime rate to 20% and the government was paying 15% on its government bonds, that was a horrible recession lasted a long time, caused a lot of ag agony. And I certainly hope we're, never, we're not going there again. I think, the, I think the conditions that allowed Volcker to do that without an interference from the pol politicians were very unusual. And I think it, in 2020 hindsight, it was a good thing that he did it. I would not predict that our modern politicians will be as willing to permit a new Volcker to get that tough with the economy and bring on that kind of a recession. So I think the new troubles are likely to be different from the old troubles. This is related. These are all... You may, wish you, had a Volcker. you may wish you had, you had a Volcker-style recession instead of what you're going to get. The troubles that come to us could be worse than what Volcker was dealing with and harder like, to fix. Like what? Have you well, think of, all the, think of all the Latin American countries that print too much money they get strong men and so forth. That's what Plato said happened in the early Greek city-state democracies. One person, one vote, a lot of egality, and you get demagogues, and the demagogues lather up the population, and pretty soon you don't have your democracy anymore. I, I don't think that was a crazy idea on Plato's part. I think that accurately described what happened in Greece <laughs> way back then, and, and it's happened again and again and again in Latin America. We don't want to go there. At least I don't. Me neither. <laughs> um, yeah.